Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and LandonAirPhotos.com. I'm glad you're watching this video. Safety tips aren't exciting or impressive, but if you're watching now, it means that you recognize they're important. Let's get started on my next safety tip. My next tip is to check the weather. Well, <laughs> it's July in Texas and you don't have to remind people to worry about the heat. Like I said, we broke a record here today in uh, Dallas-Fort Worth at 108 degrees. Uh, and that's the highest the temperatures have gotten here in DFW on this date since they actually broke a record from 1925. So it doesn't take a lot of thought to realize that it's hot and the heat, or it's cold, can affect how your, your drone performs, especially if you're using uh, a DJI drone where you're using a, a smart device as your viewfinder. A lot of those things are very susceptible to extreme temperatures, and even if your drone is functioning, your viewfinder, your smart device may quit on you. So pay attention to, to the temperature. Obviously, wind is a big deal. If you're a new pilot, don't push flying in the wind. I don't care what some YouTube knucklehead says about this drone will fly in 40 mile an hour winds or this drone will take off and fly perfectly in 38 mile. Use some common sense, especially if you're a new drone pilot. Do you know what to do if your drone is flying along and all of a sudden it starts spinning or pulling off to the side because it's got caught in the wind? Give yourself a break. Make it easy on yourself. If it's really windy out, if the winds are at 10 or 12 or 15 miles an hour, don't fly. Pick a different time. Pick a different day. Uh, unless you're shooting for commercial purposes, in which case you better be a more experienced pilot, you just don't have to fly. You don't have to fly in those situations. Along with wind, along with temperature, you've got rain, obviously. Fog can also cause problems. You may think, okay, well, it's just foggy. I'm going to go ahead and fly. All that's going to do is put condensation on your lens, and you're going to get crappy video anyway. So why bother? Why put your drone up in, in uh, heavily saturated air where it might cause problems with your electronics with your drone only to get crappy video? Don't do it. Pay attention to all aspects of weather, even KP index, which is a measure of, of uh, uh, activity, solar activity, and uh, that can also affect your radio transmissions. An easy way to do this, go to uh, uavforecast.com. I'll put the link in the description. Pay attention to all the factors that they list out there, uh, cloud cover, temperature, wind speeds, KP index. It will tell you that on an hour by hour basis for the area where you're flying. Check out weather.com. I usually use a few different weather sources to take a look at uh, what's going on. So pay attention to those kind of things before you decide to go out and fly and use good sense about what you should and shouldn't fly in. I want to keep these safety tip videos short, so I'm going to break them up into one tip per video. A playlist of all the safety videos is on screen now. Be sure to subscribe so you know when the next tip is released. Help me to make our hobby safer. Share these video tips with other drone pilots so that people know how to operate their drones safely. That's it for now. Until my next video, fly smart, fly safe, have fun.